Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show. It's Expresso on SABC3. Absolutely. I'm cro crossing live to Kuthle, who is at the Botongo Rhino and Lion Nature Reserve in Krugersdorp near the Cradle of Humankind and the Wild Awaiter. Mm. Nice <laughs> sound of that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Jamie Lee and Zoe, you guys are so jealous of me because it's December holiday time and I'm out here at one of my favorite places in the entire world, the Botongo Rhino and Lion Nature Reserve near Krugersdorp in the cradle of humankind. I am joining Chef Naidu right now at the Neck and Deck restaurant where he's going to be making breakfast fit for queens and kings that we are. Chef, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Gusli. Ah, what are we going to be making right now? Basically, we're doing what we call the Butongo Platter. Mm -hmm. It's a variation of everything that we have on our menu uh, to offer here at the Neck and Deck at the Butongo Rhino and Lion uh, Nature Reserve. And um, yes, that's about it. It looks really delicious and mouth-watering. And one thing that the viewers and my colleagues know about me is that I love food and I love to eat. So we're going to go through the ingredients, Chef, quickly. What do we have here? I see some eggs, mushrooms, beans, onions, Pepper, green and red pepper. Yes. There's something in the container. What's that one? Um, there we're going to do our signature breakfast dish, which is uh, spicy chicken livers. Mm. Yes. And um, yeah, with the, the plate has a bit of everything on it that yeah. we have, which is our hash browns. Uh, our baked beans is sauteed mm. with a bit of uh, salt and pepper. We have some mushrooms here. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's going to go with a bit of salt and pepper on there. It looks so delicious. And you know what this reminds me of? When I'm home during the holiday season and my mom is just cooking up a storm, welcoming her children back from wherever part of the country they are from. We have bacon, sinevorsi, kukui mushrooms, eat beans, eat kanda, some toast. <sighs> it's just a feast here in the morning right now. I'm pretty sure it is a fan favorite, right? It is, definitely. So now we're finishing off with the egg. That's it. Is that the final one? Oh no, we still have spicy chicken livers. Yeah, spicy today. chicken livers. Mm -hmm. What happens here is we put it on onto our grill. Mm -hmm. What we do is we pre-spice it so it absorbs the spice, gets marinated nicely. Mm -hmm. We turn it over. But you so obviously can't tell us how you marinate it because no, it's No, definitely there. not. That, that, that's the secret <laughs> recipe. I would get fired if I had to do that. No, but eh? you can tell me. <laughs> what we do is we had a bit of, I'm not going to tell you, it's a mm. secret sauce. Okay. But we had a bit secret of that, saute to perfection, nice and soft, medium, not overcooked. The smell from the sauce is just divine. Chef, are we done like this? We're just going to wait for it to cook. Yes, we're just going to wait a while and then we're almost there. I love it. You know what I love most about this plate is that it has everything that everyone loves. It can accommodate all your needs. You can spice it up and switch it up however way you wish to do so as well, especially during the festive season. Ah, <sighs> How do you feel, Chef? I feel good. I love my job. <laughs> I love How what long I do. have you been doing it? Um, I've been chefing for approximately 15 years now. Wow. <laughs> Different venues. And your speciality? I'm Indian. Oh, so, I see. But the house speciality uh, would be our... We have a killer uh, Mopani worm dish. And then now spicy liver is all... Uh, secret recipes that have been handed down from generation to generation. Wow. So when we entered here, we've been taught the Butongo way to cook, so mm. that's it. And can I tell you something? The first time I had Mopani worms was actually here. Is it? The did Day you enjoy it? I did. They were very crispy and they were dunked in some sauce. Where's Chef Lihan? Chef Lihan will tell you which sauce it was, but it was, it was um, interesting. That's all I can say, Chef. They were very interesting. You enjoy them. That's good. I did. I did. I did yeah, enjoy it. Okay, so we have the final product over here. Huh. Am I allowed to just dig in and try to taste? Be well, my guest. I'm with just going to go for the words, to be honest with okay. you. I'm a meat kind of person. Mm -mm -mm -mm. In and? fact, 
I'm going to take this one. <laughs> this plate is mine, and you're making that you, for yourself. You're welcome. We cook for you. You can you know enjoy what? it. You know what? You have outdone yourself. If this is anything to go by, the Nick and Dick restaurant has fantastic world-class chefs. And you, sir, thank you once again. You guys, I'm pretty sure you're also hungry, but unfortunately, this one is mine. Chef, thank you. My pleasure, ma'am. <laughs> Please visit us again. Mm. We are definitely jealous, Kuchle. <laughs> I have FOMO so much right now, but in the meantime, look out for next week, Friday, the 18th of December, when we showcase all the amazing new facilities at the Batongo Rhino and Lion Nature Reserve. Uh, yeah. That's exciting. And of course, if you really want to get that family feeling, you can visit this weekend and you can visit it at rhinolion.co.za. There are so many reasons to visit this beautiful part of the world. The wild awaits.